जय राधा माधव कुंज
Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Srimati Bhakti Vidana. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhiraya Nesta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya so we're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 11, Lord Krishna's entrance into Dwarka, text number 12. Sarvatu, Sarva, Sarva. Vibhava, Vibhava, Punya, Punya, Vriksha, Vriksha. Katasrama, Udhyano, Udhyano, Pavad, Pavad, Pavad Maya, Udhyan Udhyan Upavan Radma Udhyan Upavan Radma Vrita Padmakara Shriyam Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Punya Vriksha Krishna No wait, Punya Vriksha Latasramai Punya Vriksha Latasramai Punya Vriksha Latasramai Punya Vriksha Latasramai Udhyano Pavan Artamai Udhyano Vritapadma Karashriyam Vritapadma Karashriyam Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Punya Vriksha Latashramai Punya Vriksha Latashramai Udhyano Pavana Dramai Udhyano Pavana Vritapadma Karashriyam Vritapadma Karashriyam Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Punya Vriksha Latashramai Punya Vriksha Latashramai Udhyano Pavana Ramai Udhyano Pavana Ramai Vritta Padma Karashriyam Vritta Padma Karashriyam Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Punya Vriksha Rakasramai Punya Vriksha Rakasramai Udhyano Pavana Ramai Udhyano Pavana Ramai Vritta Padma Karashriyam Vritta Padma Karashriyam Sarvatu Sarva Vibhava Sarva-vibhava, Punya-vriksha-rata-swami, Punya-vriksha-rata-swami, Udhyano-pavana-rama, 
The city of Dwarkapuri was filled with the opulences of all seasons. There were hermitages, orchards, flower gardens, parks and reservoirs of water, breeding lotus flowers all over. Everyone please repeat. The city of Dwarkapuri. The city of Dwarkapuri was filled with the opulences of all seasons. There were hermitages, orchards, flower gardens, parks, and reservoirs of water, breeding lotus flowers all over. Purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Yeah. Perfection of human civilization is made possible by utilizing the gifts of nature in their own way. As we find herewith in the description of its opulences, Dwarka was surrounded by flower gardens and fruit orchards along with reservoirs of water and growing lotuses. There is no mention of mills and factories supported by slaughterhouses, which are the necessary paraphernalia of the modern metropolis. The propensity to utilize nature's own gifts is still there even in the heart of modern civilized man. The leaders of modern civilization select their own residential quarters in a place where there are such naturally beautiful gardens and reservoirs of water. But they leave the common man to reside in congested areas without parks and gardens. Herein, of course, we find a different description of the city of Dwarka. It is understood that the whole dam, or residential quarter, was surrounded by such gardens and parks with reservoirs of water where lotuses grew. It is understood that all the people depended on nature's gifts of fruits and flowers without industrial enterprises promoting filthy huts and slums for residential quarters. Advancement of civilization is estimated not on the growth of mills and factories to deteriorate the finer instincts of the human being, but on pious trees 
are useless jungles only and they can only be used to supply fuels. In the modern civilization, such impious trees are planted on the sides of roads. Human energy in developing the finer senses or spiritual understanding in which lies the solution of life. Fruits, flowers, <coughs> beautiful gardens, parks and reservoirs of water with ducks and swans playing in the midst of lotus flowers and cows giving sufficient milk and butter are essential for developing the finer tissues of the human body. As against this, the dungeons of mines, factories and workshops develop demoniac propensities in the working class. The vested interests flourish at the cost of the working class and consequently there are severe clashes between them in so many ways. The description of Dwarka Dham is the ideal of human civilization. Om Magyana Timarandasya Yananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobisdam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Bandiham Shri Gara Shri Yatapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sahagana Ragana Sanvitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parjana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitam Scha Hey Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpade Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Koranke Radhe Vrinda Bhameshwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Vancha Kaupata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Vaevacha Patita Nam Pavanevyo Vaishnavivyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adwaita Gadadha Shri Vasari Gorvatavindra Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Dwarka we're hearing about Lord Krishna's entrance into Dwarka Dwarka Puri Dwarka is one of the holy places where Lord Krishna performed his pastimes. When Lord Krishna uh, left Mathura, first of all he left Vrindavan and went to Mathura and then from Mathura then he moved himself and then all of his family to Dwarka. So, Krishna Bhagavan Mandi Right. Dwarka is situated over on the west, uh, west coast. We have Badrik Ashram in the north, we have Puri in the east, Dwarka the west, and south is Rameshwara. India is from America, it's not from India. Hare Mari, America Embassy, when the India, when the American Embassy, when the 
And the law, the laws of that everything within that vicinity of the embassy are the American laws. China embassy, the China land, China embassy is considered part of China. Wherever the China embassy is, it's considered a part of China. China embassy in the world, they get the alum, I'll put a cut party in the Purul and say, China would hear a Purul. So, Dwarka is the embassy of Lord Krishna's spirit abode in the spiritual world. Dwarka on the Bhagavan Krishna would hear a Purul and Purul and Purul. Just as there is Goloka Vrindavan in the spiritual sky, there's also Bombi Vrindavan, Vrindavan on this planet. So, in the spiritual sky, there's also Dwarka, and there's also Dwarka on this planet. So, Lord Krishna moved his family to Dwarka to protect them when Mathura was being attacked by Jarasandha and Kalayava, two very great demonic kings with big armies, they were coming to attack Mathura. So during the night, Lord Krishna moved everyone to Dwarka. By his mystic power, he transported everyone. When you, when you go to visit Dwarka, it's surprising. It, it's so remote. It's way over on the coast. And before you get there to Dwarka, you have to pass so much land where there's nothing practically, just some, they're, they're making salt, they're producing salt, some salt, salt lakes are there. So salt, you can't grow anything in the salt there, you know, salt, all the land is salt, everything is dry, you know, the salt, it, Corrodes everything. So there was no plants and trees there, just some salt lakes and flat. And the poor people, when the upper part of the park, they all made up of it. Even though the marans, the trees, the trees, the wood, all that, they all made up of it. But here in the Shrimad Bhagavatam, we're getting a very different description of Dwarka. In the Shrimad Bhagavatam, we see Dwarka as a very different description of Dwarka. You have to go through all of that ba barren land, unfertile, salty land, and then you come to the coast. And on the coast, then Lord Krishna had his island, Dwarka. And Lord Krishna was residing there with all of the Yadu dynasty, many, many hundreds of thousands of members of the Yadu dynasty. And all the residents of Dwarka, they were all liberated souls. They all had spiritual bodies. Nobody, nobody could conquer them. They were unconquerable. So, because Lord Krishna had moved his, made this place Dwarka his residence, so it was naturally opulent. All the opulences were there. Wherever the Lord goes, then all of the demigods follow him and bestow their blessings and opulences on that place. So, 
உபதேவங்கள் எல்லாரும் வந்து அங்க போயிருவாங்க அந்த இடத்துல வந்து நிச்சயமாக செல்வம் புரியும் sometimes people ask us isn't you know and you mention some this name isn't this person an avatar isn't he god they will ask you know maybe something from south india you know there's this person they call him bhagwan or something is he god they will, people will ask us சில சமயத்துல வந்து தமிழ்நாடு தென் இந்தியாவில் வந்து சில குருமார்கள் வந்து பகவானுடைய அவதாரமாக இருக்கிறார்கள் உண்மையான ஒரு பகவான் கடவுளா இருந்தாச்சுன்னா அந்த உலக நாடு புறாமை வந்து ரொம்ப செல்வம் செழிக்கும் அங்க வந்து எந்த பஞ்சமும் சாப்பாடுக்கு விளக்கம் இல்லாமல் இருக்காது எல்லாமே செல்வம் பிடிக்கும் ஐயாயிரம் வருஷத்துக்கு முதல்ல பகவான் கிருஷ்ணன் இந்த பூமியில் இருக்கிறப்ப இந்த பூமியை வந்து எல்லாம் செல்வம் பிடிச்சி ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமா இருந்தது there were no factories there were no uh in the hard drive factories or there were no computer factories there were no motor car factories the pro part of the ball thodi irukkaru and the samayathula vande endo oru factories onume illa ellame vande nature alaga yethiyaga irundhathu there was no intel no microsoft no apple none of these things and the same thing intel factory or apple factory or microsoft factory or me illa and we may think oh how could life go on oh they didn't have computer they didn't have mobile phone how could they manage indha maari irundha nam nenikalam eppadi nam vaalkai odum computer illa mobile hand phone illa eppadi nam vaalkai nadatha mudiyundhu oh they didn't have the, these electronics but they had a lot of other things gifts of nature avangalukitta vande electronic or minsara polugal illa ana vande yerkin selvangal avangil irundathu which of these gifts are described in the purport here which we read flowers of all beautiful description with wonderful colors and fragrance inda srotha nam padichu vande adha enna kurippirukku nam samayathil vande nilaiya poongal pala vidamana kalarana poongal vaasanayulla poongal la irundathu one the book he came to my for and he was giving a lecture so when they when he gave the lecture they gave him a flower garland and he was describing he said you know in america when we give you a flower garland it does not have any smell or devotee vandu maya par vandundaru and samayathula vandu avaru vandu the sotpuli vishayappa avaru vandu or poomala aniyittargal adhe vaasana irundathu adhe nerathula vandu அவர் சொல்றாரு அமெரிக்காவில் வந்து அந்த மாதிரியான சொற்பொழி கொடுக்கறப்ப பூ மாலை போட்டோம்னா அதுல எந்த ஒரு வாசனையும் இல்லை அழகான பூக்கள் ஆனா எந்த ஒரு வாசனையும் இல்லை மரங்கள் இருந்து அழகான பழங்கள் ருசியான பழங்களை கொடுத்தது what we have today are mostly the impious kind of trees and the same thing the marangal are the aanmeega marangal ipo ulla marangal undu and aanmeega the rubber tree and you have the palm oil tree ipo undu namakku rubber maram palm oil marangal la irukirathu you get in america they have they they, they purposely produce trees which do not give fruit அமெரிக்காவில் வந்து மரங்களை நடுகிறார்கள் ஆனால் அந்த மரங்கள்லாம் வந்து எந்த ஒரு பழங்களும் கொடுக்காது தேங்காய் மரம் இருக்கும் அந்த மரத்தில் வந்து தேங்காய் இருக்காது என்ன சொல்றதுனா அந்த தேங்காய் மரம் வச்சா அந்த தேங்காய் மேலேருந்து கீழே தலை ஒன்று தலை அடிபடும் அதனால வந்து தேங்காய் இல்லாத மரங்கள் வைக்கணும் சொல்றாங்க but probably for said in the history of the world there's never been a case where anybody ever got hit by a coconut ana prabhu sollaare in the charitrathile illa endoru thengavum manasu mela 
தலை உடந்து போய்விட்டதாக சமீப காலத்துல வந்து ரொம்ப விஞ்ஞானம் நிறைந்த காலம் அதனால வந்து அவங்க மரங்கள் நட்டி எந்த ஒரு பழங்கும் இல்லாத மரமா And then in Florida also they have they have these orange trees with no oranges. <laughs> Or if they do have fruits, the fruits are so horrible nobody would ever eat them. So impious trees. But in the times of Lord Krishna, it was a very different situation. அவங்களுக்கு <laughs> ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> given to people according to their status in the society avangalukku vande vidhyasamana vilakangale kudukkaru so prabhupada is explaining that kali yuga what we think is a very that we are in advanced civilization actually we're not advanced at all kali yugathil vande romba romba tharakuraivana vidhyasangala irukku de we have created a hellish civilization with our so called advancement kaliyugathil vande ella vande adharma theriyum romba naragathukulla soolai maariyana nalam irukirathu producing we produce steel we have steel melting metals to produce steel idu vande irumbu indha maariyana idu vande seiyapadi pattigal nariya irukirathu terrible uh, pollution and all kinds of smoke and, and discharging so many substances into the air polluting the atmosphere ipulla factory la vandu romba maasu padintha factory gal idanal vandu namakku romba seekal nerakkiya we can see the effect just now this week for one week here in penang there's been this terrible haze coming from indonesia ஒரு <laughs> and creating a lot of haze in the nature ulla makkal vande or porupulara makkal vande marangala vande erikke utte indha mariyana pugai kottathu undakkaraangal vande marangala erikke vendilla appiye marangala vande alikka vendinalum machine vechi alikkalam ana adanalu seiyanaga romba selavagum appadi solrangal so in the name of making some money big make a big fire produce a lot of smoke oh, don't worry about it let it go to noise yeah. அவங்க 
we need to learn how to live off the land. But we, what we do nowadays, you know, we, look, we go to the factory, might, we say, please give me a job, I will work for you. And you work in the factory all life. They're full of fumes and smoke and dust, or they're freezing cold. Uh, right. They have the air conditioning on cold, everything is, you know, like, like a very low temperature. And people have to work in that kind of atmosphere all day. And all nights as well sometimes. Work all night as well. Many factories are open all night working. But if you work off the land, you don't need to work all night. You don't need to do shift work on the land. You wait for the, the sun to come up, you wait for the morning to begin and you can go to work. And we work off the land, you can work in a very healthy, natural atmosphere. Enjoy the rays of the sun, you can be outside in the sun's rays every day. And you can produce food very easily. With very little effort, you can grow a lot of vegetables. But we don't need all of, all of these things. We, we become a slave of the technology. Right? We spend so much time on all of this technology, it takes so much of our time away. Just how much time we spend every day with the mobile phone, with the computer, and with the motor car, all of these things. If we use that time to chant Hare Krishna and to read scriptures, it would be much more beneficial for us. And so we have to learn from the past. We have to learn here about how things used to be. Of course, what we, we say, well, times have changed, it's different now, this is a different society. But we see people still, they like parks. Many people every day, they like to go to the botanic gardens here along the road. The, the botanic gardens attracts many people. They go there, they walk there, they enjoy the atmosphere. Natural atmosphere, nice trees, good air. You go in the city, noisy traffic, pollution, crowded. And, very, and also so many dangers are also there. People didn't get injured so much when they were working on the land. But we know you ride a motorbike, 
very soon you get injured very yeah. risky yeah motor guy motor gadi motor bike indha mari onna namba romba seekar namakku vende pala gaayangal undagum and motor cars also of accidents indha mari very dangerous yeah indha mari romba accident undagum but if you are living off the land working on the land it's a much slower natural lifestyle நாம வந்து இந்த மாதிரி விவசாயிகளை வந்து நடத்தல வாழ்ந்து வந்தோம் சொன்னா நமக்கு வந்து மெதுவாக இருக்கும் ரொம்ப பாதுகாப்பாவும் இருக்கும் பிரபுக்கா லைக் தட் டு சி லைக் ஹவுஸ் ஹோல்டர்ஸ் தட் தே ஷட் ஹேவ் சம் பீஸ் ஆஃப் லேண்ட் அண்ட் தே கேன் ஹேவ் அ கா அண்ட் ஹேவ் சம் மில்க் ஆல்சோ फ्रॉम द கா பிரபுக்கா இப்பவே வந்து நமக்கு வந்து ஒரு நமக்கு கொஞ்சம் நிலங்கள் தேவைப்படுது அதனால வந்து நம்ம பசு மாடுகள் வச்சி அது மூலமாக நம்ம பால் வச்சி வாழலாம் சொல்றாங்க சோ இன் சம் பிளேसेस we have our farming communities and you can go there they will give you a piece of land the mari namakku vyavsayigal edhila vende irundha mudhal namakku pona namak nelam kadichi namba adhu mooliyaga paarkkan edukalam the piece of land you can grow everything you need for your food consumption namba adhu mari nelam irundha namba namakku thevaiyana saapadu jamangala vaai seiyalam then if you get one cow you take care of the cow you get some milk நமக்கு ஒரு பசு மாடு இருந்தா அந்த பசு மாடை நம்ம பாதுகாத்தா நமக்கு நிறைய பால் கிடைக்கும் this is a healthy and a healthy lifestyle இதுதான் நம்ம ஒரு சுகாதாரமான வாழ்க்கை என்று சொல்றாங்க but every day go to factory work in the factory every day it is not very pleasant அதே மாதிரி நம்ம எப்பவும் 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 அரசுக்கு ஃபேக்டரி இந்த மாதிரி நம்ம இயன பரைப்ப போனா நமக்கு சுகாதாரம் கிடைக்காது we take you can see the the, the fact that is they take so much land the the practical mulima romba nariya nalathai avanga eduthu kudukkararu sometimes it's a huge brewery you know or, or coca cola factory you know they take so much space the mari pattiga undu romba eduthu eduthu coca cola the tea thayarikka mari na pattiga undakkiraru so much good land is used just to produce things like beer நிலங்களாக <laughs> they think we can make money with the tobacco sell the tobacco make a lot of money they grow tobacco so so chiranthil vande nalangal eduthaangalna adha vande pogaiyai seiyadhukaga uruvaakkaraangal adhu mudiyaga nariya namba sambhavikkanu solraangal they grow tobacco to make cigarettes to sell to people to kill people and the tobacco and the pogaiyai seiyadhu adhu mudiyaga cigarette veiye undaaki மக்களுக்கு <laughs> people are getting over but they are not in mood maga apdi id panni erakkadhukku avanga kavala kavala illa and now even the government say make it legal they can smoke marijuana you can smoke all the drugs and it is it made it legal in countries like canada they told me in canada now everywhere people are all smoking marijuana the mari is the government of canada the mari velinadukal la vande mari inquired about the purpose of their existence they never inquired to understand the goal of life in the valkeyude kurikol innandi yarume puriyama vaandukondirukkaru so holy places like dwarka they're very special these holy places aanmiga edangal la vande dwarka mariyana idu vande sila kattupadugal ange irukkirathu certain rules like nobody is allowed to eat meat nobody drinks alcohol and the mariyana edathula vande yaarume vande maamisam madhu indha mariyada arutha mattaadhu because this is a very special place it's a holy place 
தான்மீக நரம்புகள்லாம் வந்து ரொம்ப ஒரு ரொம்ப புனிதமான ஒரு இடங்கள் so they don't allow any of this sinful activities to go on இந்த மாதிரியான காரியங்களை வந்து அங்க வந்து உட மாட்டார்கள் and people it says if you go there and stay in dwarka for a short period of time then you become qualified to get liberated from the material world நாம வந்து இதெல்லாம் ஒரு புதிய நம்ம துவாரக மாதிரி நடக்கல பேர்தானா நம்ம நம்ம கூடி சீக்கிரம் வந்து முக்தி அடைய கூடிய வாய்ப்பு நமக்கு கிடைக்கும் But you come and stay in a place like Penang for a little while and become qualified to go into hell, right? We get a different result. Of course, going to the holy place, the real purpose in going to the holy place is to hear from the devotees who stay there. நடத்தினார் <laughs> thoughts and remembrance of the supreme lord who used to live in that holy place namma dhanmiga dalathu pona namma yuvapatte bhagavanudaiya kurugigalai vande namma unarrom but if we simply go to the holy place to take a bath then it said we're, we're no better than a foolish cow or an ass namma dhanmiga dalathu poi summa anga poi and aathra kulichittu pesamandana oru oru maattukku mudam moodathanamana oru maattu samamana aagum So going to the holy place is one of the important items of bhakti yoga. Anmiga dhamma dhamma poradu vande bhakti yoga thilo oru mukhyamana oru angam. Rupa Goswami mentioned five items is a very powerful even a little attachment for any one of one of them can get perfection. Rupa Goswami said kare avaru idhula vande ainda angangal adhula vande poradu vande oru mukhyamana vishayam idhu. So going to the holy place In the, in the holy place we are meant to follow the the standards for living in the holy place anmiga dham gopon kena angulla kattupadu thandu mari namba vaandu varavendum just like here the temple this is a holy place idu vandu oru koyil inda kodi koyila vandu oru aanmiga dham mari it's not different from dwarka puri idhukku vidya gaur dwarka puri ku vidyasam illai the lord is here in his deity form பகவான் வந்து இங்க ஆன் அவருடைய அங்க அர்ச்ச விகரத்துல இருக்கிறார் just as 5000 years ago lord krishna appeared in dwarka so the same way a few years ago lord chaitanya and lord nichananda descended here எப்படி 5000 வருஷங்களுக்கு முன்னாடி கிருஷ்ண பகவான் இந்த பூமி அவதரிச்சார் அதே மாதிரி சமீபத்துல 500 வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னால வந்து சைத்தன்ய மகாபிரபு அவதரிச்சார் the deity is also the incarnation of the lord archavagrangal vandu bhagavanudaiya or angangal and this is a holy place this is a place where there's only bhakti yoga there's only activities in relation to the lord idhu da vandu aanmiga dhanam idhu vandu or bhakti yoga bhakti yoga thode or angam every this place is meant for hearing and chanting for worshiping the lord இந்த மாதிரி இடத்துல வந்து நாம் பகவானுடைய கதைகளை கேட்கறது பகவானை கும்பிடுறது நடக்கூடிய விஷயங்கள் இந்த பாகவத்தில் வந்து குறிப்பிடப்பட்டது எப்படி துவாரக பூரியில் மக்கள் வந்து பகவானுடைய தொடர்பு கொண்டு வாழ்ந்து வருகிறார்கள் என்று everyone was the everyone was a devotee of the lord ellorum vande bhagavanude bhaktargal to go to the holy place you won't stay very long unless you're a devotee indha or aanmiga thavu pona namba bhaktar aitha da namm nirul irukka mudiyum appo illana namm romba naal ange irukka mudiyadhu and that place dwarka is even higher than vaikuntha dwarka puri irukkare vande vaikuntha thoda oru oyerta eda in the prehat bhagavat amrita sanatan goswami describes how gopkumar visited all these places 
So sometimes you say Krishna is perfect in Dwarka, he is more perfect in Mathura and he is more perfect in Vrindavan. Dwarka has a special mood which is a little different from Vrindavan. Just like in Vrindavan, it was also very beautiful. Nature, trees, many cows, the Yamuna River. So Dwarka also is a very attractive place. But it's a special mood of Dwarka, with where there is a lot of veneration, a lot of awe and reverence for Lord Dwarka. And that's a little different from Vrindava. In Dwarka, they're very careful to follow all the principles of religion according to the Vedic standard. But in Vrindavan, Krishna is controlled by Allah. It's a, it's a, a very special love in Vrindavan, which is greater than the love in Dwarka. In Dwarka, the love is mixed with awe and veneration. But in Vrindavan, there is no awe and veneration. It's only sweetness, intimacy. So we are hearing, anyway, the Srimad Bhagavatam is describing all of these different places. The mood of Dwarka is being given to us here in this first canto. Later on, in the tenth canto, we will hear about Vrindavan. Some questions? Any questions? Now, just one question. Now, the Dwarka is still in India, in West Coast, in Gujarat. Is it still maintained at the same status? So now, so much changes over there. Well, Prabhupada used to say Vrindavan is not a place on the map. You don't enter Vrindavan just by buying a ticket to go there. It's not enough to just buy the ticket. You have to change your heart. You have to change the consciousness. You want to see the Holy Dham, you have to develop the qualification to see the Dham. Just like you want to see Krishna, you have to be qualified to see Krishna. Samita, Premanjana Charita Bhakti Vilochanena. When your eyes are covered with love, then you can see Krishna. So the holy Dham, like Vrindavan and Dwarka, 
are not different from the Lord. The Lord and His paraphernalia are all fully spiritual. Just like Madanga and Kartal, Prabhupada would train us not to put them on the floor because this is Krishna. we, we want to see Dwarka, we have to be qualified. We have to develop our consciousness of Krishna. So it's not just some place on the map. But the holy dam is still there. Dwarka is still there. But do we have the eyes to see it? Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Naham Prakasha Sarvatma Yoga Maya Samabrita Mudu Yam Nabijanati Loko Mama Jamabhyayam. I am never manifest to the foolish and the unintelligent. For them I am covered by my Yoga Maya. Krishna Bhagavan Sodhare, Mutta Galaki Namda Adrika Adrika Mati in a Bhakam Yadi, you know you live the the Mutta Galaki, you know Yoga Maya Mori Maga, cover up. So Dwarka is a dam. It's a place. A dam is different from a tirtha. Dam Dwarka means a dam. That means a tirtha is a dam. It is a dam means a place where the Lord is residing eternally. Dam means where the Lord is residing eternally. Dam means where the Lord is residing eternally. Right? You've been to Vrindavan, right? Did you see Krishna? Did you see Krishna in Vrindavan? What did you say to him? What did you say to him? So you offered the obeisance. So Krishna is residing there in Dwarka. So, Bhagavan is there, no, I don't know. Energy is there, Dwarka is there. But, but, we don't know. Have the eyes to see. We are covered. The Yoga Maya covers. The Yoga Maya on them, the body covered. But those who are pure devotees, they can see. Kumili on the Pumian, Bhakta Kurunde, or any way on the Bhagavan Pakumi. So Dwarka is there. Dwarka is there. It's the same Dwarka. Krishna's pastimes are going on. Continually, eternally. And all the residents of Dwarka, they have spiritual bodies, eternal, full of bliss and knowledge. There's a story in the 10th canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, how one Brahmana from Dwarka, his wife was giving birth to children, but one after another, the child was a miscarriage. He lost the child. So, the Brahmana came to the head of, to the, the ruler of Dwarka to complain. So the Brahmana on the Rumba Vata Pati, Raja Vita Pai complained from Dragon. He said, you're the, you're the ruler, you're in charge, you're supposed to protect my children. My wife is giving miscarriage, all the children gone. 
This is your fault. You Kshatriyas are not doing your work. So Arjuna was there and Arjuna said, I am Kshatriya. I will protect your wife. I will make sure your child is safe. And Arjuna vowed, if I cannot protect your child, I will give up my life. And Arjuna said, I will not protect your child. I will give up my life. So then the Brahmana's wife became pregnant again and she's going to deliver another child. So Arjuna was trying to protect to make sure the child is safe. So the Brahmana was very angry and he said, I have no father. I have no father. I have no father. Arjuna looked everywhere. He went to Yamaraj. He couldn't find the child. So then Arjuna was thinking maybe he has to give up his life. But Lord Krishna was there and Lord Krishna said, no, you, you come with me. We'll go and find the children. So Krishna said, and Lord Krishna took Arjuna on his chariot and together they went through the covering of the universe and they went to the Kajyo Ocean. And Arjuna they went to see Mahavishnu who resides in the Kajyo Ocean. Now that Kosho Ocean, that is a place of liberation. And the Kosho Ocean is Karna 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 and they saw that all the children of the Brahmana, they were also there. So Lord Mahavishnu was very happy to see Krishna and Arjuna come there. And he told them, he said, I brought these children here so that you would come here. So then they, Krishna and Arjuna, they took the children with them and went back to Dwarka. This shows us, even those children, they've gone to Mahavishnu, which is the Kajo Ocean, which is the liberation. They came back to Dwarka. Dwarka is better than being in liberation. Because in Dwarka there's an opportunity to do devotional service directly to Lord Krishna. That's better than even liberation. So devotees are not much interested in liberation. We want devotional service. And in Dwarka, Lord Krishna is residing there, so you can directly serve Lord Krishna. Dwarka, Lord Krishna, 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 Lord Krishna,
different from the opulence of the Shivas. We want to be like them, you know, always angry and passionate, envious, never happy, never satisfied, and you have a big house. So, better the devotee opulence. According to what our qualification, Krishna gives us facilities. Prabhupada said, he gave the whole, Krishna gave the whole world to the Pandavas in 18 days. The battle of Kurukshetra took 18 days. And the Pandavas had nothing before the battle of Kurukshetra. But 18 days later, they ruined the world. So Krishna can give you the whole world if you're ready to do, you know how to use it. When we go to Odina, do we actually have to meditate and prepare ourselves before going to Odina? Rather than buy a ticket and go to Odina. Or do we have to prepare a few months ahead? We are going there, we must have a tapasya, that kind of preparation. Is it important for us? Yes. So that's one. Put it down. Now, when they get a kid, we say, Odina, go for them. Odina, go for them. Smart ticket, we can go for them. We can go for them. But when they get a kid, we say, Odina, go for them. Odina, go for them. Odina, go for them. Just like Akrura was sent by Kamsa to go from Mathura to Vrindavan to bring Krishna and Bhavara. So Akrura, he's, he showed us a perfect example how to enter into Vrindavan. Right. He was journeying to Vrindavan and he was considering in his mind how he was so fortunate that I'm going to see the Supreme Lord, the Personality of God. And when he got to Vrindavan and he saw Krishna's footprints in the ground, he rolled in the dust of Vrindavan. So that's how you enter the holy town. We absorb our mind in the thought of the Lord and consider ourselves to be very, very fortunate. And then when you get to the holy town, then you offer obeisances and roll in the dust. So, yeah, you do have to prepare yourself. We don't go to the Holy Dam just to leave all of our sins there. Many people do that. They do all their sins and they say, I'll go to Holy Dam, I'll do some, some, some charity there, I'll leave all my sins there in the Holy Dam. Then when I come back, then I can do more sins. That's very bad. Not what we're supposed to do.
So you want to go to the holy dam, you should have the right mood. devotees visit, like, you know, some temple may be established there, it's some ho kind of holy place, but the dam is where the Lord resides eternally. Some people they go and visit the Divya Tirthas, you know, Ramanuja is at 108 Divya Tirthas, they go and visit these places. India is on the Muthi at the Divya Tirthan Lakhradi, or the Pakatha other over there. But devotees, we like to see more the Dham. We want to hear about the Lord's pastimes in the dawn. Miss, we can't hear this kind of pastimes in the Tirtas Brahmanas. Tirtas, we cannot hear this kind of things. Uh, pastimes and all this. Only the dawns we hear this. Under the eight Tirtas, when they go there, there is no. Well, they, they do have some they particular events took place there. Some particular events. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that the Lord was residing there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that we consider that is actually the appearance place of the Lord. Like Vrindavan, Dwarka, and uh, Well, it's not the appearance, the Lord is residing there. Residing there. Yeah. So. மனநிலைமையிலிருந்து <laughs> Well, the other four activities was, you know, hearing the past time, the glories of the Lord, like we're doing from Srimad Bhagavatam. And then another one is Kirtan, which we were having also. And then also worshipping the deity. And the fourth one is associating with devotees. So you can see we have all these things in our activity, in the daily program. We hear, and we chant, and we worship the deity, and we have association, and this is a holy place. Especially waterfall, Bhagavan or Yenigal in the Kekanam, Kalayla in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Padkinam, Bhagavad Gita Kalas Rukunam, Mukiam, Upper Bhagavan or Nabat the Javam Sayinam, Upper Bhagavan on the Vadi Padano, Upper Bhakta Roda, Gorwarano, in the non Kidir Tana on the Dore, Dam Mari, Punya Punya Tam Mari. So Bhakta Club the Rumba Mukiman, the five four things are very important, so we should not miss, especially Sundays. Okay, Hare Krishna. Shri Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Shri Bhagavad Gita. 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 Shri B
Yeah. 